everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another workout for you to do at home. This time, it is a 20 minute HIIT workout. It's gonna be cardio, it's gonna be toning, there's gonna be some strength work in there, but it is gonna get your heart rate up and it is gonna be quite challenging. So I will give you some modifications uh, and regressions if you need them, but try and keep up with me. It's gonna be a tough workout, so let's get to it. Okay, so before starting this workout, make sure you're nice and warm, but we're gonna go straight into it. And it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off with some squat kicks. So we're gonna squat and kick. 40 seconds of these, making sure you get nice and low in your squat and kicking up nice and high when you do your kicks. We're gonna do 40 seconds of this. This will get your heart rate up, get you warm. It's working your glutes, your quads. Ooh, you'll feel it towards the end of these 40 seconds. We're halfway through the first effort. And we've got 20 efforts in total today. It's gonna be a tough one, but we're gonna get through it together. Going, keep breathing as you go, and rest. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, it's like a half burpee. So we're gonna go out into a high plank, and then we're gonna shoot our legs in, and come up into a half squat position, okay? So you've got 10 more seconds rest. Breathe as much as you can, because you're gonna need these moments of rest. If you do wanna challenge yourself more, you can be skipping in these rests. Let's do it, okay. Halfway, out, in, up, halfway. Out, in, up, halfway. 40 seconds of these bad boys. Again, feel the burn in your legs, fit in your glutes. You'll feel the core, you feel it in your shoulders. Make sure when you shoot your legs out, it's nice and controlled to here. If you're finding this difficult, you can always go a little bit slower or you can walk your feet in and stand up. Try and keep up with me. And rest. Woo. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, some speed skaters. So, hard version, jumping from side to side. If you find that difficult, step, curtsy lunge, step, curtsy lunge. But try and do the jumps with me. Okay, we've got four seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Side to side. Nice and easy. See here. You there? I say we're nearly there. We're not really. We've got 27 seconds left. That's it. Keep going. Making sure you've got good knee alignment when you're landing. Control it. Control it. Go deeper and deeper. Making sure you sit in your bum back each time. You'll feel it in your glutes. And in five, four, three, two, one, rest. Rest. You got 20 seconds. Next one we're gonna do is a press up rotation. So you do your press up and you come up onto one side and reach for the sky. If you find that difficult, you can do it on your knees where you press up, don't rotate. If you find the rotation hard, just lift your hand up or just do it with a bent arm. Here we go. Down, up, rotate. And we're going to alternate sides as we go. Bobby's having a good time downstairs. And down. And up. Keep alternating and go at a rhythm that allows you to keep going for the whole 40 seconds. If you are struggling, stop, get your breath back as quick as you can, and then get back into it for the last part of the effort. Go. And rest. Okay, so in this next 20 seconds rest, make sure you're getting your heart rate down. The next thing we got is a touchdown to reach. So what we're gonna do from here, touch down and reach up to the sky, okay? For 20, well, 40 seconds. Pretty simple, if you can't reach all the way down to the floor, don't worry about it, don't overstretch. Just go as far as you can and then reach up. Let's go. Touch down and up. Touch down and up. My hip flexibility isn't great, so I also struggle with touching the floor. So do not worry about that. Down and up. Down and up. Keep going. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep 
and we have got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so while you're having your rest, I'm going to show you the next one. What we're going to do is a squat to heel raise. So you're going to squat down, lift your heels up, down, and back up. So you're going to squat down, lift your heels up, down, and back up. 40 seconds of that. We got it. So here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, heel raise, back up. Squat, heel raise, back up. This is going to test your balance. It's going to work your calves as well as your quads and your glutes. Whole kit and caboodle. Okay, so when you're doing it, make sure you sit your bum back, lift your heels up, and push back up and drive through your heels and your glutes. If you find it difficult to do the heel raise because of balance, just do normal squats for now, where you do a normal squat and then do a heel raise at the top. So that you get both the calves and the squats working for you. And rest. Okay, next 20 seconds rest. We have got some curtsy lunges. So like we were doing the speed skaters before, instead of jumping, we are this time going to squat all the way down, but try and get your leg back a little bit. And we've got seven seconds. And if you find them difficult to go back against yourself, just do normal reverse lunges where you're just going directly backwards. Let's go. Alternating sides. Curtsy to the queen. Don't do any dramatic movements like that. That's how you get injured, so don't care. You're gonna keep alternating sides. Curtsying like this is gonna work more of the outside of your glute. So you'll keep feeling that. Again, making sure you're focusing on form as well as making sure that you're doing them as quickly as you can. But form is key above all else. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next thing we're doing are some toe touches. So we're gonna be down on the floor. Oh, the lights, it's just gotten bright. Um, we're gonna have our toes in the air, down to the floor and touch like this. If you can't do it with your legs straight, do it with your legs bent, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with legs straight, and three, two, one, let's go. Toe touches. 40 seconds. This one will get the abs. Try to exhale every time you come up. It'll allow a little bit more space and make it a little bit easier to come all the way up. Keep going. We're all in this. So you know that we're all in this together. You know how it is. Come on. Nearly there. And rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We're going to be back up. We're going to be working those legs. We're going to get our heart rate nice and high. Ski jumps. So jumping up and jumping side to side, but getting our knees to our chest in between each one, okay? We've got seven seconds. If you find those jumps too hard, just do some cool squat jumps, okay? Let's do it. Side to side, ski jumps. Use those arms, drive those knees to the chest. Again, if you find this difficult to do, just do normal squat jumps. But if you can, stick with me and do these ski jumps. Use your arms to get you up off the ground. Spring up, knees to chest. This should leave you quite breathless by the end of it. I know they do for me. 10 seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one. Press. Okay, still got more to go. Next thing we're gonna do, side B sets. So, I'm gonna do them with straight legs, like so, but if you can't do that, bent leg, just on your side like this. We're gonna go for 40 seconds on one side, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Here we go. I'm gonna do it with straight legs. Making sure we're breathing as we're doing the exercise. This, you'll feel this in your abs, your obliques, your hip flexors, and you might even feel it in your shoulder where your elbow is down on the floor, trying to stabilize your body. 
But like I said, if you need the regression, it's just that. <sighs> We're bent legs. And rest, okay. We'll switch them to the other side. He says 20 seconds to rest, stretch out if you need to. It'll be your side, it'll be your abs, whatever you need. And we're going to be going into the other side, which is going to be, again, V-sit, straight legs if you can, back legs if you can't. If you find it really difficult, just do normal sit-ups. Here we go. Straight leg V-sit. Sideways. Again, if you need to bend your legs, like so. Again, breathing out as you get to the top of your rep will allow for a bit more space. Got it? You've got 10 seconds left. And then we'll be away from abs for now. And in five, four, three, two, one, oh, and rest. Now, if you're finding this challenging, don't worry, so am I. I've written this workout and now I'm like, oh, damn. Okay, next thing, hammer press ups. It's like a progression from normal press ups to a handstand push up. So you're going to be up in like a downward dog position and we're going to press up like so. If you find that difficult, just do press ups on your knees or normal press ups. So let's get elbows facing out, trying to reach the crown of your head to the floor each time. Because the next step after doing a hammer press up would be to go into a handstand press up against the wall. So this just prepares the triceps a little bit more for that. You feel the burn in your arms by the end of it, trust me. Ooh. Keep going. I know all these upper body exercises kill me. And rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest, and then we're going into some glute bridge and pulse. So, what we're gonna do is go from here, and you're gonna glute bridge, pulse, and down. Glute bridge, pulse, and down. So it's like a get up and give it a little bit, something, something, and then come down. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Bridge, pulse, down. Bridge, pulse, down. And this is really about engaging your posterior chain. Enga engaging your glutes, and your hamstrings to lift you off the ground. Don't do it through your back arching like this. Roll each vertebra off one at a time and use your glutes to squeeze off the floor as you're doing it. You should really feel it in your glutes because your glutes should be squeezed and engaged the whole 40 seconds. Go. Nearly there. Keep going. All right. Okay, so the next thing we've got for you are some high knees into a pop jump. So, high knees, pretty self explanatory, I'm gonna go high knees. Whenever I say jump, woo, we're gonna jump and shout like that because why not? It's fun. We're having a good time, working out, feeling good, feeling nice. Let's go. High knees. And jump. Woo. High knees. Let's go, go, go. Go and jump. You. High knees. <laughs> and jump. Woo. High knees. <laughs> Keep going. And jump. Woo. High knees. And jump. You. High knees. And jump. Woo. <laughs> okay, high knees. And um, we're going to finish off with a jump. Woo. And rest. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is a side shuffle with a touchdown. So we're gonna touch down, shuffle to the side, touch down on the other side, like so. Each side of your mat, your towel, your living room, whatever you got. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Side, shuffle, touch, shuffle, touch, shuffle, touch. Let's go. Doing this for the whole 40 seconds. It'll get your heart rate up, nice and high. Let's get it. Driving up, the more you push up through here at the top, the more dynamic it will feel, the harder it is. If you're finding this difficult, just step, 
touch, step, touch. But if you can, stick with it with a bit of a shuffle in the middle. And rest. Woo! Wee! Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, bicycles. It's kind of like an alternating crunch on the floor. We're gonna alternate opposite knee to opposite elbow. And we're gonna do that for the whole 40 seconds. If you find that difficult, just have your feet on the ground and just do static ones. So here we go. Try and keep your feet off the ground the whole time. And your shoulders off the ground. And we're gonna be rotating, really engaging, and bracing the core for the whole 40 seconds. You might feel it in your hip flexors. You certainly will feel it in your abs and anywhere else. I'm not sure if you should be feeling it anywhere else. Okay, keep going. We're nearly there. And rest. Don't mind me, the battery just died, but we're gonna go straight into our next exercise, which is going to be some kick throughs, which is basically, you're gonna be on all fours, like so, and then you're gonna switch and kick your leg through and stabilize through your shoulders and your core. Okay, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. Kick through, kick through. Like so. It's a really quite good exercise, I'm gonna show you the side as well. It's a great exercise for full body, for core stability, for balance, for strength work, and also just getting your heart rate up. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to here so I've got enough room to kick through. And then you can speed it up to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. Exhaling as you kick that leg. And in four, three, two, one, and rest. Four, okay. Going into the next thing, which are press up walkouts. So, what we do for that is we are going to start from standing, crouch down, walk out, press up, walk back, stand up. Okay, we're going to do that. If you find it difficult to do it all the way out on your toes, do the press up on your knees. Okay, crouch down, walk out, press up, walk back. I'm doing it with bent legs just because I feel like it gets my glutes better, but you can do it with straight legs like so, but be careful with your back when you do that. Again, trying to keep that nice, straight, long line from your heels all the way to the crown of your head. Going, nearly there. Keep pushing, you've got five seconds left. See if you can get in another rep. And rest. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, get your heart rate down a little bit, some back extensions. So you're gonna be face down on the floor and you're just gonna lift up, hold, and down. Lift up and hold, and then down. And you're gonna do that for the full 40 seconds. If you find it difficult, just lift your legs up or just lift your upper body up. But if you can, do both. Hold and down. Up and down. Up, down. A brief moment of pause at the top to really feel your glutes engage. You feel it a little bit in your lower back, working to keep you up. But really feel like you're squeezing your glutes to push your hips into the floor. And exhale on the way up. And rest. Okay, we're going into our last exercise, the finisher if you like. Everyone's favorite, burpees. So we're gonna do 40 seconds of burpees, which is shooting your legs out, shooting them in, and jumping. We're gonna do 40 seconds of that, and it'll be your last, not right now. Three, two, one, let's go. And jump, and jump. 40 seconds. Try and get as many burpees in as you can. Keep in that form, jumping up nice and high. If you find it difficult with a jump, everyone does. So keep going. You've got 10 seconds left of the workout. 
Put everything you've got into it. And three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Woo! That was a killer. 20 minutes there of work you did. Good job. Whoa! Even, even the camera had a bit of a meltdown then. Right, we do a little bit of active recovery, slow our heart rate down. Just some nice, simple knee lifts, as if we're marching on the spot. Bring that heart rate down. We're gonna twist into it a little bit. Twisting it out. And slowing it down, twisting side to side. Breathing. Slowing that heart rate down. We're gonna take it into a tricep stretch. One arm over, grab the opposite elbow, and just give it a nice little pull. So you feel the stretch of the tricep. If you want to feel it a bit more, lean over a little bit. We push against it. Switch sides. And then we're gonna take it into a quad stretch. So hold on to something if you need to. Lift one leg up, heel to your bum. Squeeze your glutes, keep that engaged. Try and keep your knees together. And really feel it down the front of your leg. And then we're gonna switch sides. It's windy out there today. So, oh, my balance is being tested at this point. Nice, big, deep breaths. So a bit of a hamstring stretch, so bend one leg. Make sure you don't rest your leg on the one that's straight because you don't want it to hyperextend. So rest it on the one that's bent. Keep your toes flexed. Toes facing the sky. And then we're gonna switch sides. So, toes to the sky, and then we are gonna hit the deck and do a bit of a glute stretch. So you can do this two ways. You could do it where you slip your leg through like that, and then hold onto your hamstring and pull towards you, or you could do it sitting up like so. Each person will feel slightly different when it comes to stretching their glutes because they feel tightness in different areas, so you can lean to different sides, feel it where you feel the most stretch, and get the most benefit out of it. Again, deep breaths to try and bring down that heart rate. Switch sides. Go. Sit rock side to side if you need to. Deep breaths, slow that heart rate down. and rest. Well, there we have it. That was a 20 minute hit workout. Make sure you share it with your friends, like this video, comment if you want a particular area targeted and how difficult you found the workout. And make sure you subscribe because I'll be back with more videos, more vlogs and all that kind of stuff. So till then, stay safe. I love you all. Bye.